Hi there, this is video number two today, and I'm continuing on the subject of self-care and keeping our immunities up and what we can do um, for that and for ourselves. We are a priority. We need to invest in ourselves. And I said in the last video that I do believe that the reason that there's so much sickness going on, there's there's a plenitude of reasons, but one of the main reasons that we are susceptible to getting sick, be it the cold, the flu, be it whatever, um, is our immunities are down. Our immunities are down. So um, what causes our immune system to get down? Well, one of the major things that will cause your immune system to just kind of get lower and you're more susceptible to sickness is stress and anxiety. Um, of course, there's other reasons as well, but I like to focus on the stress and the anxiety and what you can do to, you know, help yourself with, um, you know, how, how are you managing your stress? How are you managing your anxiety? What do you do for yourself? Not using chemical substances, not smoking, not drinking, not things of that nature to help your stress out. But what, what are you doing naturally? To help yourself. I'm not a big fan of alcohol. Um, I do believe that, you know, wine has benefits, but you have to drink so much of it to get the benefits. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, smoking. I'm not a fan of drugs. Um, so when I talk about things, I'm always going to talk about natural ways to um, combat certain issues that we have. Uh, so taking the substances out, what can you do? Also, food is another thing that people will turn to when they are depressed, when they are anxious. Um, that's another thing. Something that helps with that and with a lot of other things is water. I drink about a gallon of water a day, and I know that sounds excessive, but there are a lot of other people in the field of work that I'm in that um, do the same. And I don't even think you need to be in the field of work that I'm in. I think that water is great for many, many, many things. It has a ton of endless benefits for our body. And for it does for me, it does um, help with hunger. Sometimes when you feel hungry, you're actually thirsty. Um, so, you know, Try it out. I, I know there's people, I won't even say who they are, but I've said this to them, you know, drink more water, drink more water. And it, yeah, that won't work. Yeah, I'm going to go have a hot dog. So, <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. But, you know, these are my suggestions. Um, so, keeping with the idea and the topic today of what do you do for stress? I meditate. I go outside. I do a workout. I work out. I do something physical. Um when there are ideas in my mind that are dragging me down, I can declutter them, and I call it decluttering, by going for a walk, a simple walk, a simple five minute, 10 minute, whatever you have available in your schedule to get outside and take a walk. Do you have a dog? Walk your dog. There there are so many benefits to just walking. You don't have to be a diehard weightlifter or, you know, running five miles every morning. You don't have to do that. A simple walk can help your mind and help you declutter the stress and anxiety that's in your life right now. These are the things that we have to focus on. We've got to focus on ourselves and it's time to make ourselves a priority and put ourselves first on the list of daily things to do first what is something that helps you out it could be you know maybe in the afternoon a nice cup of tea maybe before bed you take a hot shower and that relaxes you and you have to also set your mind and this isn't something that happens right away this is daily practice but you set your mind to living in this moment right now this moment you don't think about 20 other things or 100 other things that are going on in your life right now. Focus on one thing at a time, one step at a time. Nothing happens overnight. 
It takes work. It takes consistency. It takes perseverance to get to where we want to be. Setting achievable and reasonable goals is priority number one. You want to set goals for yourself, but you want to make them achievable so that you can actually set them, achieve them, and then now what's next? Now what can I do? What can I do for myself next? You cannot be a good sister, brother, uncle, um, husband, son, wife, etc. if you don't take care of yourself first. It's not selfish to take care of yourself because when you're healthy and you're happy, those around you are too. When you have a good mindset and a good outlook, people see that and they see you at your best. And that's what we want. So thank you for listening to this video number two. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Take care.